guilty. He's, he's, he knows he's lying. Otherwise, why can't he look at me? This is a man who tried to kill me. Ms. Heard was flinging insults uh, left, right, and center, and she then grabbed that bottle and threw that at me. No one should have to go through this. On my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Well, there have been a lot of moments, we can say that, and that's just one of the highlights or lowlights, whatever you want to call it, from the more than 100 hours of testimony in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial. Tomorrow, jurors will continue deliberating for a third day, no verdict today. Depp is suing his ex-wife, Amber Heard, for $50 million. He says her 2018 op-ed, in which she claimed to be a victim of sexual violence, damaged his reputation. Heard is also counter-suing Johnny Depp for $100 million. Both deny each other's allegations of abuse. Joining us now is Caitlin Becker. She is an Emmy-winning journalist and senior reporter for Daily Mail TV and DailyMail.com. I appreciate you being here tonight. So I guess, first of all, what is it about this case that has people so interested? Because as I'm looking through the things, Caitlin, that they care less about, they care more about the Depp Heard trial than they do Elon Musk, um, Joe Biden, abortion, the Ukraine conflict, inflation, even COVID. It's got, it's got everyone's attention. Why? It really does have everyone's attention. And I think it's <laughs> Except <twofold. for> Leland. <laughs> Except for Leland. I know. He and I have been through this together before. I'm sorry. I'm back. It's almost going to, it's almost over. I promise. This week, hopefully. <laughs> you got my over. attention. I'm listening oh, to you. Oh, just wait till the appeal. Oh, true. Then, well, then I'll be back again. At least I know I'll be busy. But the truth of the matter is, I think it's twofold. People are fascinated about this because there are cameras in the courtroom. This is the second trial that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have gone through. We were not as fascinated with the first one that went down in the UK. I mean, of course, we covered it at the Daily Mail, but the country as a whole wasn't riveted. The fact that there are cameras in the courtroom, it is like a real live reality TV show. That's one side of it. And then the other side of it is it's messy and it's not our mess. COVID, inflation, abortion, the president, that's all real mess that we as human beings have to deal with. This is something that we can kind of watch from afar and be grateful it is not happening to us. Right, it's an escape. Um, you're right, it's, it's reality TV um, on steroids and it's happening hour after hour every day and you can kind of watch it live. Um, give me your thoughts on the visceral, um, really nasty reaction to Amber Heard versus the love fest that we see outside the courtroom for Johnny Depp. I haven't seen enough of the testimony to understand um, why there has been such a stark difference in the public's reaction. I'm not sure if the difference in the public's reaction has anything to do necessarily with the testimony as it does with the Johnny Depp fan base and with the way we as a culture tend not to believe women. I think we're seeing a lot of that coming down with throughout this case. And there is something to be said for fan bases and stardom and fan fandom. Uh, they can get a little crazy. They can get a little wild. And, you know, they will support the person that they love, even though they've never met them, the person who's been on their TV, who they've watched in their movies for years and years and years. And Johnny Depp is a household name and Amber Heard is not. Hmm. Well, and then there's some level of you wonder how good of an actor are they on the stand when you're seeing some of the emotion. I mean, Johnny Depp smirks a few times. I mean, he was even out playing his guitar in London over the weekend, and it doesn't look like he's all too worried about the outcome. And then you see the Pirates of the Caribbean ship outside the courthouse. And at one point, people were bringing alpacas. So I guess, Caitlin, win or lose, how does this impact both of them personally and professionally moving, moving forward? I'm not sure if Amber Heard's career is going to recover from this defamation case and from her relationship with Johnny Depp. However, I think Johnny Depp's career may rebound from this. I mean, he's always been commanding these really high salaries for these huge movie franchises like Pirates of the Caribbean and the Harry Potter franchise that he was fired from both of those. But I think because this case has created a cause for Johnny Depp fans to really ra rally around and is really 
lit a fire beneath them. They've really showed that he could probably sell out theaters and sell out movies. And I think that once the dust settles from this, studios are going to react. I mean, just today we had a report on DailyMail.com about the fact that um, online interest in his fragrance, the Dior fragrance Sauvage, which you just don't get more Johnny Depp of a fragrance than Sauvage, <laughs> but its interest has gone up some like 50% in the last couple of days. I mean, people are even trying to get the fragrance that he's the face of. This, I think, is going to benefit him, which is rather surprising, honestly. It shocked me, mm -hmm. even knowing what I know. Yep. Well, if, if half of what they say is true, um, the whole thing is really unfortunate, but um, it's got us talking. Caitlin, uh, we appreciate you coming on. Jury continues to deliberate third day tomorrow. Good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.